Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. If you are new here, then welcome. If you are returning, then it's so nice to have you back. Today, we're going to be hopping into a more slow, more stretchy practice focusing on our hamstrings. So with that being said, let's hop right in. If you have blocks nearby, they can be useful today. You can add a little bit more support. You don't need blocks. You can also use books or even pillows if you stack them up. So whatever you have nearby, some props could be helpful. Not necessary, but helpful. All right, so we're going to get started in child's pose. You can make your way there, knees wide apart, big toes together, and then let's just ground the forehead down to the mat, relaxing your elbows down on the mat for now. And we're just going to take a few breaths here, arriving into the present moment, starting to connect with yourself, noticing how you're feeling today. And just taking a moment to let go of the day that just passed. Taking a moment to set an intention for your practice or dedicating yourself to being fully present for the next few moments. And a good anchor that is always in the present moment is your breath. So you can start to focus on that. Breathing deeper, longer inhales, longer exhales, breathing in and out of your nose. On your next inhale, you can slowly start to walk your hands all the way back towards your knees. Let's keep the knees wide apart. Hands come just in front of your knees, so kind of in between your legs. And we're going to move into cat and cow, but from here. So it's going to be focusing more on your thoracic spine. So as you breathe in, let's open up the heart, pull the chest forward, gaze up, and then breathing out, chin into chest, Push them out away, so push into your palms, round your spine, and tuck your tailbone. Inhale to open up the heart. Exhale to round the spine. And inhale to open. Trying to feel every single vertebrae move. Exhale to round. Let's take a few more cycles at your own pace. You can keep the eyes closed, really trying to break down the movement. Add one more here. And then inhale, let's come back to a neutral spine. You can go ahead and tuck your toes, bring your knees a little bit closer together. Let's sit on the heels. Let's interlace the hands and just figure eight movements with your hands rolling out the wrists gently. And then maybe switching directions. And on your next inhale, let's reach the arms above the head. Exhale, you can interlace your hands and place the hands at the back of your head. Breathing in to open up the heart. And then exhaling to bring the chin into the chest. Two more, inhale to open. Exhale, chin into chest. Last time, breathing in to open. 
Exhale, chin into chest. Now inhale, let's reach both arms up towards the sky, straighten your spine. Right hand holds onto the left wrist side, bend to the right. And on your next inhale, let's come back up through center. Left hand holds right wrist side, bend to the left. And next inhale, let's come back up through center. And then you can bring your hands out in front of your tabletop, maybe tapping the tops of the feet down into the mat. And let's tuck the toes, come into downward facing dog. And then you can slowly start to walk it out, maybe bending and straightening the legs or shaking out the head, whatever movement feels good. On your next exhale, let's drop the knees back down on the mat. Let's sit on the heels, reaching the arms up. From here, we're just going to lean back. Hands can always be on the mat for support or even on two blocks. We're going to try to bring the heels down to the floor. And then lifting the heels, let's bring the knees down without dropping them if possible. And then switch, let's bring the heels as close as possible to the ground, and then the knees. So if the heels don't touch, that's okay. We're working towards that. Heels and knees. And one more time, heels. Now from here, let's come into a forward fold, lifting the hips up high. Knees can stay generously bent, and you can grab opposite hand to opposite elbow and dangle over your legs. Let's take two more breaths here. And on your next inhale, halfway lift. Right hand will stay underneath your nose. Let's bend the right knee. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Now you can either stay here or bend your left elbow, place your left hand on your lower back, or even grab the inner right thigh. And let's hold. Keep pulling your left hip back. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward for three. And then your hand can either be on the mat or on a block if you need a little bit more height. Two. And one left arm reaches up high if it's not already there. Exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. Bend your left knee straight and your right leg. And then right arm reaches up to the sky. Same variation you took on the other side, maybe bending the right elbow behind your back, maybe holding the left inner thigh to help you twist a little bit deeper. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, let's walk the hands into a high plank. And let's lift the right foot off the mat once you're there. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged plank for five. Exhale, twist, four, three, two, and one, come into a side plank, right hand lifts up, and then right foot steps behind your left leg. So we're almost in a wild thing. So something between wild thing and side plank, but both legs are straight. And on your next exhale, let's come back to high plank. And then let's lower knees, chest and chin to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale to lower. Tuck your toes. Let's make our way back to downward facing dog. Good. Just three more breaths here, finding length through the backs of the legs, length through the spine. 
On your next exhale, let's drop both knees down on the mat. Inhale, this time let's stand up on the knees, reaching the arms above the head. Exhale, let's bring the hands to the lower back. The fingers can point down or up, whatever feels more natural for you. Let's press the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, and hold for five. That's so thighs are super engaged, glutes as well. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades together for three. Let's slowly straighten the spine. Sit back on your heels. If hands can assist by being on the floor. Lean back, lift your knees. Drop the heels, come into a forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold, maybe wrapping your hands around your ankles for five. Good. And you can keep your knees generously bent for now. As long as the stomach is in connection with the knees, it's all good. And then from there, slowly working on straightening your legs. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Now let's walk the hands forward into high plank. And from here, left foot lifts, three-legged plank. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, send it back for five, four, three. Good, just building up a little bit of fire, two, one. Side plank on the right hand. You can keep your left foot in the air. And then let's just step the left foot behind the right foot. So they're about hip width distance apart. From here, left arm reaches over your left ear. So the chest is slightly open to the ceiling for three. And on your next exhale, high plank. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, drop the chest, tuck the toes. Come all the way back to downward facing dog. Let's take two more breaths here. On your next inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, let's tap the right toes to the left heel for five. Inhale, lift it up as high as you can. Exhale, tap for four. Three. Two. And one, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, let's step the right foot between the hands. Drop your left knee down, Anjanasana. Let's reach the arms above the head. And make sure to keep your left toes tucked. And on your next exhale, let's come into our half splits, Hanumanasana. Maybe sliding your right foot a little bit further out in front of you, flexing the right toes, and let's hold. And on your next inhale, lift your chest. We're going to pivot to the left. And at the same time, your left toes will come behind your left knee. So now we're facing the long side of the mat. Let's walk both of our hands off the mat for gate pose. Walking the hands forward, dropping the forehead down to the floor, and then pulling your hips back and up. So now we're stretching the inner right thigh. On your next inhale, let's walk the hands underneath the shoulders. With the strength of your core, inhale, reach your arms above your head. You can untuck your left toes now. And then exhale, your left hand comes on the mat to the left. So we're side bending to the left, right arm reaches over your right ear. Now 
Now, as you breathe out, right hand comes down on the mat. So now both of your hands are at the back of your mat. Come onto the ball of your right foot, press into your hands, lift your left knee, and then let's pivot into side plank on the right hand, but keeping the left knee bent, left foot steps behind your right leg, wild thing. Inhale here, exhale, let's drop the hips. So now we're facing the top of the mat again. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight. Let's drop the left knee down for Janar Shashasana. And it's okay if you're on the far left of your mat. A deep breath in here, exhale to fold over the right leg. On your next inhale, let's straighten the spine. And now we're going to cross the left leg over the right leg. Take a deep breath in, let's reach the arms above the head. Exhale, let's cross the right elbow over the left elbow for eagle arms. Deep breath in to lift the elbows away from your chest. And then exhale, you can fold forward. Five breaths here. And if the bind of the arms is causing you any discomfort in your right shoulder, you can always undo it and just fold over your legs without the bind. And feel free to relax your forehead down in your elbow creases. Let's take two more breaths here. And on your next inhale, let's slowly rise up. Release the bind of the arms. Inhale to reach the arms up high, gaining length. Now your right hand comes behind your hips. The legs are crossed. We're going to come into a high plank. So left hand also comes behind you. Inhale, lift the hips. High plank. Exhale your chaturanga, or you can skip it and go directly back to downward facing dog. Three breaths here. And on your next inhale, the left leg rises. Try to keep your hips level, squeeze the left glute. Exhale, left toes to right wrist, for, uh, to right ankle for five. Send it up. Four. Three. Two. And one, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, let's step the left foot to the top of the mat, which is now, which was the back of your mat before. Let's drop the right knee, Anjanasana, reaching the arms up, and hold. And on your next exhale, half splits, fingertips can come down to the mat, and maybe slide your left foot a little bit further in front of you. And folding over your left leg, pulling the hips back and up and reaching your chest towards your left foot. On your next inhale, let's come into a halfway lift. Untuck your right toes. Let's turn to the right. So both hands walk out to the right. The right foot is now directly behind your right knee. Left leg is extended out to the left. Plant your left foot. And now let's walk the hands forward. Pull the hips back and up. Gate pose. Keep squeezing the muscles in your left thigh. For five. Keep hollowing the lower belly. Keep reaching the arms forward. Four. And now on your next inhale, let's walk the hands underneath the shoulders, lift the chest. And then we're going to walk the hands all the way to the top of the mat once again. 
Come on to the ball of your left foot. Inhale to lift the right knee. Let's come into side plank on the left hand and then right foot steps behind your left leg. Wild thing, inhale. Exhale to sit down facing the back of your mat. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Let's drop the right knee out to the right. Janu Shashasana. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine, and then exhale to fold over your left leg. On your next inhale, let's slowly straighten the spine. Now we're going to cross right leg over the left. So right ankle is crossed over the left ankle. Inhale, let's reach the arms above your head. Let's cross the left elbow over the right elbow for eagle arms. Maybe the hands can clasp. Inhale to grow tall, lifting the elbows away from your chest. Exhale, keeping that length, let's fold forward, resting the forehead into the elbow creases. And let's hold for five. And keep breathing into the space between your shoulder blades. Two more breaths. And on your next inhale, let's slowly rise up, reaching the arms above the head, inhale. Exhale, left hand comes behind you first. Let's roll onto the left hip. Right hand also comes behind you. High plank, inhale. Optional chaturanga or straight back to downward facing dog. And let's take three breaths here. On your next inhale, let's come into a high plank. Right foot lifts off the mat, hold. Maybe left hand lifts off the mat as well. Just a little bit more fire for three, two, one. Bring your left hand back down, right toes hook the left heel. And then from here, let's pull the left heel down with the help of the right foot. And then on your next inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right foot steps between your hands. Grounding your left heel, warrior one, rise up. And then really trying to straighten your left leg as much as you can. And on your next inhale, let's straighten the right leg. Exhale, fold forward, pyramid pose. Maybe bringing your hands onto blocks or onto the floor. And once you're in your fold, keep squeezing the right leg a lot, lifting the right kneecap. Let's take two more breaths here. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Let's reach the arms back and up, aeroplane wings for three. And on your next inhale, keeping that right leg straight, inhale, let's reach the arms above your head. Exhale, bend the right knee, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Exhale, your chaturanga. On your next inhale, let's come into high plank. Left foot lifts off the mat, maybe the right leg, uh, right arm lifts for three, two, Ooh, and one, the right hand comes back underneath the right shoulder. Left toes hook the right heel. Let's pull that right heel down 
and then lift the hips, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands, ground the right heel, warrior one, rise up. And next inhale, let's straighten the left leg. And then with a flat back, keeping the hips leveled, let's fold forward all the way down, keeping the length of your spine. So without rounding your back. I remember to keep engaging both legs a lot. You can always flex your left toes if you want or stay as you are. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Let's reach the arms back and up and hold for three, two, and one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend your left knee, plant the hand, step back, high plank, and then your chaturanga optional. All right, we're just going to kind of combine what we did. On your next inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, right toes tap the left ankle for three. Inhale, send it back for two. And one, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop the left knee down, Anjanasana, inhale. Exhale, half splits. Now inhale, stand up, crescent lunge. And ground your left heel. Straighten your right leg as you breathe in. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold, pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's reach the arms back and up. Inhale, stand up tall. Now exhale, let's bring the hands to the heart space. Big step up, left knee into the chest. Let's interlace the hands around the left knee and hold. Try to stand up as tall as possible for three. And now your peace fingers of the left hand can wrap around your left big toe, right hand on your right hip, keeping your shoulders in one line. See if you can extend your leg out in front of you. Now it can be bent. If possible, we're working towards straighter. And let's hold for five. Trying to lift it up as high as you can. Four, standing nice and tall. Three. Two, and one. Now maybe holding your left foot, let's come all the way down. Now, if pistol squat intimidates you, you can always drop your left foot and just come down, bending both knees. But if you want to come down in pistol squat, you can slowly make your way there. Once we're at the bottom, we're going to sit down. Let's keep that left leg extended out. So if it's not already, then you can just extend. Right leg stays bent. Now left hand comes behind you. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, right hand reaches towards the left foot. And then once you're there, you can either fold over your left leg or wrap around your right leg. So the right elbow wraps in front of the right shin, left arm behind the back. Once you have the grip of your hands, Inhale to open up the chest. Exhale to maybe fold a little bit deeper. The spine will be rounded here, that's fine. And on your next inhale, let's straighten the spine. We're going to start to rock back and forth just a couple times. And we're making our way to forward fold top of the mat. So you can use your hands to help you up, lifting the hips, folding forward. 
Whatever bind you want to take, maybe peace fingers around the big toes or hands behind the ankles or calves. Let's take a deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward for five. On your next inhale with a flat back, rise up high mountain. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Plant the hands. Let's step back, either downward facing dog or you can add a vinyasa. All right, now that on the left side, left leg rises, inhale. Left toes, tap the right wrist for three, two, and one, three-legged dog. Let's step the left foot between the hands, drop the right knee, Anjanasana, inhale. Exhale, half splits. Now inhale, cross and lunge, and then let's drop the right heel, warrior one. On your next inhale, straighten your left leg, Exhale to hinge at the hips and fold pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, reach your arms back and up. With a flat back, inhale, rise up, reaching the arms above your head. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Big step forward, right knee into the chest. Let's interlace the hands around your right knee. Stand up nice and tall for five. And now from here, peace fingers of the right hand can grab the right big toe, left hand on your left hip. Keep your shoulders nice and open, shoulders stacked over the hips. Maybe straighten out the right leg. And now if you don't wanna go down into pistol squat, you can drop your right foot. And then just bend both knees and lower down or lower down, keeping the bind. And now from here, let's release, sit down. Left knee stays bent into the chest. There's a little bit of a gap between your left foot and your right leg. Right hand comes behind you. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, reach your left hand as far as you can towards your right foot. And then when you can't anymore, let's wrap around to the left leg, if that's accessible. Deep breath in to open up the chest and then exhale to fold closer towards the right leg. Slowly, let's straighten the spine. One more time, we're going to rock back and forth, coming into forward fold. Now let's keep the feet hip width distance apart, peace fingers wrap around the big toes. You can also keep your hands on the floor or maybe even wrapping them around the ankles. It's just gonna be harder for the next part. So we're just going to keep that bind or hands on the floor. Inhale here, exhale, let's just bend the knees and look forward. And then straighten the legs and fold five times. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, try to keep that connection, stomach to thighs and fold for three. Two. And last one. And from here, let's release. Take a deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, let's bend the knees. Come all the way down to your back, one vertebra at a time. And let's come into constructive rest. Feet are wide apart, knees together. 
And you can just knock your knees side to side. And now we're going to bring the right knee into the chest, extend your left leg long. From here, let's straighten out the right leg. Left hand can hold the outer blade of the right foot. If straightening the leg is too much, you can also hold the outside of the right knee. Right arm will reach out to the right, and then let's twist. Right leg comes over to the left. Now you can stay here, or your right knee can be bent. Or if you want to add something, you can bend your left knee, and then the right hand can reach for the top of the left foot. And don't force anything or yank any part of your body. Just whatever is accessible, whatever feels nice here in this twist. And now if you have the left knee bent, gently release it. Let go of your right foot. Let's bend the right knee, come back through center. And then drop your right foot down on the mat. Left knee into the chest, let's straighten the right leg. And just notice how it feels to straighten the right leg. From here, either you keep your left knee bent or right hand can hold the outer blade of the left foot. So either the left knee or the left foot. Straightening that leg if that's accessible, keeping your right shoulder grounded. Left arm reaches out to the left. Let's come into our twist. You can also come into the twist with a bent knee and then change your mind afterwards if you want to go deeper. And now either staying here in this twist or bending your right knee Left hand holds on to the top of the right foot. Two more belly breaths here. And then slowly release the right leg, straighten it, bend your left knee, and then let's slowly come back through center. Hugging both knees into your chest, maybe rocking side to side, and now this is your time to take any remaining shape that you feel you need before Shavasana. So maybe a hip opener, uh, such as happy baby, holding either peace fingers around the big toes or hands around the outer blades of the feet. If there's any other shape you want to take, you can go for it. If you want to straighten the legs out to the sides, you can also do that. Now let's take two more breaths here. Slowly, let's bring our knees back together. Hugging the knees into the chest on your inhale, let's lift the forehead up to the knees. Take a deep breath in, squeeze and hold the breath for three, two, one. And then exhale, let's come into Shavasana. Extending the legs out in front of you, the arms alongside the body. Take a moment to make sure that you're comfortable. And then once you are, Let's commit to absolute stillness for the next few moments. To encourage the body and the mind to let go, let's take two deep cleansing breaths together. So deep breath in through the nose. Hold. And then exhale through the mouth. 
And one more full breath in. Hold. Exhale through the mouth, release. And now allow yourself to let go. Bring your awareness to your legs, the length of your legs. Noticing how they feel, if you can feel the legs sinking into the mat. Noticing the length of your arms, the weight of your hands. Noticing any sensations in your palms, fingertips, any buzzing sensation beneath the skin, any slight tingling. And notice the weight of your head. Relax all the muscles in your face. And for a moment, notice your entire body from the tips of your toes all the way to the crown of your head. Every single muscle, every single sensation. Noticing the length of your body, the space you're taking up, all the buzzing and tingling. Feeling every single cell of your body alive and breathing. And just enjoying these few moments, observing the after effects of the practice. Where there's nothing else for you to do except be present with yourself. In your own time, you can start to wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Start to stretch in any direction that feels good. Maybe rolling over to one side and taking a moment to reset. And we will eventually Make our way up to a comfortable seat, resting the hands on the knees, keeping the eyes closed, relaxing the shoulders, growing tall. And just taking one last moment here to check in with yourself. Noticing that right here and right now, everything is okay. You are safe knowing that you can come back to this space whenever you need it. On your next inhale, you can reach your arms above the head. Exhale, bringing the hands to the heart space. And I invite you to take a moment to just think of one thing that you are grateful for today. you can rub your hands together. And let's go ahead and place the hands over the eyes, pausing there for a moment. And then slowly removing the hands away from your face, blinking the eyes open, and namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I hope that you enjoyed it, that it felt nice and soothing for your body, that your hamstrings are happy. <laughs> All right, I will see you next week for another flow. So until then, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week, wonderful weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.